Hey, are you drowning in emails every single day? Imagine having your own AI assistant that reads your email and drops perfect responses in your tone without lifting a finger. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today using Zapier and ChatGPT all with zero coding skills needed here. If you're spread around the world, a busy professional entrepreneur, or just someone who hates replying to old emails, this will absolutely change your life. First, we will see what tools you will need. Then we will see how to trigger emails in Zapier. Then we will see how to filter only the right emails. And after that, we will see how to use ChatGPT to draft smart replies till it lasts. How to create the draft reply in Gmail. This is what we will achieve by the end of the tutorial. Whenever someone sends you an email, your AI assistant will work on it. So let's dive in Zapier. So first is the tool you will need here. You need a Zapier. Okay, Zapier account is free or paid. If you want multi-step zaps, you need a paid version. You need a Gmail account. We already have one. Let me open that. I'll go and open my Gmail and that's it. And you need an OpenAI account with an API key being charged by GPT OpenAI. So at last, you need some basic familiarity with prompts. Don't worry, I'll guide you around here. So first, let's start with how to trigger emails in Zapier. So the goal here is to detect new emails from your Gmail inbox so your AI system can start working on it. So what you need to do is wait. Before knowing how to do that, first we will see what is trigger in Zapier. A trigger is an event that starts your automation. In this case, the trigger will be when a new email arrives in my Gmail inbox, it start the zap. So let's start the step-by-step -step instructions and how we will do that. For that, you need to create a zap. Here, I'll go and create a zap. Okay, in Zapier, you need to log in. Everything related to this you will see over here. You can even go to Copilot and ask what you really need. For example, if I want to filter emails for ChatGPT, you can type in this Copilot. So it will create a workflow for integration with ChatGPT. But here I'm doing it manually. So let's see it step by step here. Step two is to set the trigger. So if you see here in trigger, you need to click on it and search for Gmail over there. So Gmail, you can see that's my Gmail. Once you select Gmail, you need to select new email. So I will go to trigger event. You will see trigger event. You need to click on it and select new email. That's it. Now this means every time a new email arrives, that will start the automation here. Now the next step is to connect your Gmail account. So I will go to my account. I already had two or three connected and it's showing. I'll say continue once all is done. If you're new here, you get a pop-up that asks you to give Zapier permission. You need to choose the correct Gmail account. And here's a tip. Use a test Gmail account first, like a throwaway account, so you don't mess up your real inbox during testing. Now, once you're done, just click on continue. So now the step is to add filter conditions. You will now tell Zapier what kind of emails to detect to avoid spam or promotion emails. Use the field for the label, mailbox, or category, depending on Gmail structure. Choose something like inbox or anything you want. So I'll go and select inbox. Okay, yeah, and continue with just that, whatever you need. Now, this ensures only relevant personal emails will trigger the zap, no ads, social media notifications, or promotions. Now, our next step is to test your trigger. Just click on test trigger. What it will do is Zapier will try to find the latest email in your Gmail inbox. Based on your filter, you should see some data examples over there. You can see that I have an email, see email, anything like that. I'll click on see email and continue with that. Now it's been done. If this test pulls in the correct kind of email, you're good to go. If nothing shows up, make sure you have at least one unread email in your inbox. Double check that the Gmail account is the right one or retest until the data comes through. Now let me give you a pro tip here. Don't use your main Gmail inbox. I already told you that. So now with that, you have created one zap. Now let's move on. Next is how to filter only the right emails. 
Our goal here is to make sure the AI doesn't reply to unwanted emails like newsletters, promotions, or spam. Why is this stuff important? If you let ChatGPT respond to every email, you might waste your API code to reply spam. You will end up with unnecessary drafts like receipts, flight confirmations, or marketing emails. So we are going to filter the emails so only important real personal messages trigger your AI assistant. Let's see it step by step. Now you need to add a filter from the zap. You can see the filter. Click on it after the Gmail trigger is set up. Click the plus icon and set up this filter over there in Zapier. This filter acts like a checkpoint. If the email passes the test, the rest of the automation continues. If not, it stops there. So our next step is to set the filter condition. You will now set up the logic. If I go to choose field here and in the field, you select something like label IDs or label mains. This varies based on Gmail data. So I have raw ID. So I'll go and search for label. I have label IDs. Now choose the condition. In the condition dropdown, you need to choose text contains. I will click, then write over there. That is important. Now when you write important, you need to click the add plus button. Once it's done, you need to add a second condition over there. I'll go and select the same field, label IDs. Choose the same condition, text contains. Now type in inbox. Okay, once I do that, it will look something like, label ID text contains important. Label ID text contains inbox. This means only emails marked as important and that are part of your inbox will go to chat GPT for reply drafting. Now I guess you got it. Just click continue. Once you continue, Zapier will show whether the test data passes the filter or not. If the test email has both labels, it will continue. If not, Zapier will stop the automation right there. Here's a pro tip. You can customize the step based on how your Gmail labels are structured. Want only unread emails? Use a condition like read equals false. Want to reply only to a client label? Use label contains client. Click on continue. The result is that your AI doesn't waste time and money replying to promo emails, flight confirmations, or random subscriptions. Instead, it only handles real conversations that really matter. If you can see the green tick, it means it has passed now. The next step is to use ChatGPT to draft smart replies. Our goal is to pass the email content to ChatGPT so it can generate a smart, human-like response in your tone. Why is this step crucial? This is the brain of the automation. ChatGPT reads your email content and creates a custom reply based on how you want to talk. Think of it as your AI personal assistant. Let's go step by step. Step one is to add ChatGPT OpenAI as the next step. I've already connected my account, so it shows up. If you don't, you need to search and select GPT, then connect it with your OpenAI secret key. Choose the event. Then step three is to connect OpenAI. Mine is already connected. But if this is your first time, go to openai.com and click on plus to create a new secret key. Then copy that key and paste it in Zapier to connect your OpenAI account. Keep this key secure. Never share it publicly. Once it's done, step four is to set up the prompt. Click send prompt and continue. Now this is the message your automation will send to GPT every time an email comes in. So our prompt template should be something like, please draft a professional, empathetic reply to this email. Do not include a subject line. Here's the original message. Now in Zapier, use the insert data option to select the actual email body that came from step one, the Gmail trigger. So if I go down, you need to select the temperature. You can select it like it will depend on your Chad GPT. You know, modification like what model you want, what things you want. If you select GPT 3.5 Turbo, it's fast, it's super cheap, and it's, you know, more than enough for smart emails. If you select GPT 4, it is available, but over still and unless you are handling legal or medical reflux. You now have a powerful AI generating through email reflux based on your style, rules, and intent ready to be saved in Gmail as drafts. Once it be done, 
I go down if you see maximum length, how many lengths you want, and that you can select turn it. You can stop the sequence based on your things. You can see the frequency like zero is the normal one. If you go more above it will give you more traffic and, you know, professional image with that. I need to give the prompt again. Let me just prompt it. Click on continue. Yeah, once it be done, I'll select my model. Is this my temperature? Is this if you can see frequency, the prompt and everything? Now test. Okay, the data is out. I'll go down. Now the next step is to how to create the draft reply in your Gmail. Here's our goal is to take the response from ChatGPT and save it as draft inside your Gmail and read it for your review week and section. But why does step matters? This is where everything comes together. You have detected an email. You have filtered it to keep it relevant. Now you have generated a smart response with AI. Now we will save that reply as a draft in Gmail right on the original email thread. So it just feels like you typed it yourself. Here's we need two steps. So if I click here, you can see the plus button. Just click on it and I go again on Gmail. And now my event is to create draft and ripple. I go and just select my account and continue. Here you need to select one thread ID. Okay, thread ID should be something like what we say inserted in your data. Without this, your draft won't be tied to the original message. Okay, in the body, you can see the body over there in the body type. Just click on plus icon and just select send prompts in Chad GPT and you need to select. This is the actual email reply that will show up in your Gmail draft. So if you go there and just need to response, our case from a response should be like this and okay, and everything should be done. Okay, I need to select the thread. So select something. I have so many, I have selected this one. Okay, unclick on once it be done, you need to test the action over there. You need to click on continue. Once it be done, you should now see the AI generated draft for that you just need to test the step and that's it. If I go to my inbox now and go to my draft. Yeah, see, you can see that. Hey, congratulations. Please draft and professional in better reply to this mail. Do not include a subject line. And here's the original message. That's the power. If you don't see it, you need to refresh your Gmail, check your draft and make sure the thread is mapped correctly. Now your AI generated reply is now waiting for you know in a Gmail you can quickly tweak and send not getting indeed once. Now you're confident with the quality of your AI reflux. So let's wrap up and see what we have covered in this video. We have seen what tools you will need in this. We have seen also how to trigger emails in Zapier. We have also seen how to filter only the right emails. After that we use ChatGPT, draft smart replies, and at last we have created the draft reply in Gmail. This is not just email automation. This is reclaiming your time. You are now free to focus on real work while AI handles the busy work now. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as source of IT knowledge. We're always here to help you and navigate you to the tech world.